Hi guys, um, I'm doing another video for this Q&A video series I've been doing for you guys here on Patreon and I hope you're enjoying it and getting something out of it because um, I think I have a little something to share to the writing community even though I'm probably late on the video stuff but I hope that you guys are enjoying these um, little snippets of my life and how to be a writer and what it's like and the updates and what's going on in this authorly world of mine. Um, if you like the videos, um, I really need you guys to do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Um, it's on YouTube and um, should be right below. There's a little subscribe button on one of these sides. I'm going to figure out which one. Okay. And, um, there's a bell next to it, and if you tap on that bell, it'll actually um, give you notifications when I post a new video, which is um, not going to be too often, but I'm hoping at least once a week. I don't know, but hope you guys like these. If you like them, comment and or post something to let me know, or if you have questions, definitely let me know. Um, what I can answer or what I can do for you and we can go from there okay the, um, the question for today um, was uh, what's my favorite genre to write in um, I actually write in several genres but I do have favorites <laughs> I've written in young adult fantasy paranormal romance urban fantasy, contemporary romance, romantic suspense, and horror, post-apocalyptic slash dystopian for you um, reign of blood readers. Um, but which one of those is my favorite? Um, well, it's a toss-up between young adult fantasy, like my fairy worlds, which is kind of urban fantasy too. The Dark Fairy Tale series and uh, my new series, um, The Unbreakable Curse, is definitely urban fantasy. Oh gosh, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, but so, okay, those are kind of like tied together YA fantasy and urban fantasy. And um, probably my second favorite is. Um, say sci-fi science fiction though I don't do that much science fiction I have a short story that has dealt with androids and robots and you know post-apocalyptic future sci-fi and it was so much fun to write but I've gotten so far away from writing that genre that I have no idea how to get back to it I hope you guys will like what I'm coming up with in the future, I'm actually co-writing with um, uh, another author. I'm not really going to announce it yet because we just barely finished the first story. We're kind of editing it, revising, so I'm not really sure what we're going to do with it. It's kind of a sci-fi, military, space opera, action adventure, so it's really fun. Um, I can't wait to get that out and see what you guys think about it. Uh, well, anyway, uh, another one was, how do you, how do you write? How do you go about writing? Do you just throw things out to the universe? Do you write in chunks? Are you organized? Oh, I don't know. I'm not very organized. I have to say I'm a very chaotic person. I'm not type A. I'm very laid back, kind of go with the flow kind of person. Though it does bite me in the back when procrastination is a problem. I have a really bad procrastination problem. But I've gotten better as I get older. And um, I've gotten more organized. The longer I write books and the more books I do, the more I tend to outline, the more I tend to plot, the more I tend to 
go more linear than all over the place like I used to. I used to like just jump around. Jump around. Jump around. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, I write out beats because um, there's this thing that you have to do nowadays is write faster. Yeah. Especially if you want to make money as a writer. Write faster, write faster. So what do I do to write faster? I, I outline, you gotta like map your way out. If you're just wandering across the United States, who knows where you're gonna end up, right? But if you want to get to your destination a little bit faster and you have a destination in mind, you have to uh, plot it out on the map and know where you're going. So you don't get lost, you don't get stuck, you don't get, um, wasting your time ending up in a dead end somewhere in a ditch like I often did with my writing so <laughs> I've made all the mistakes in the world so any any question you have I could probably answer it um, I've been writing since 20 oh gosh 2010 published since 2011 self-published and I've loved it ever since it's Probably one of the best things I've ever did for myself um, but I've learned a lot on how to write how to be a better writer how to be a faster writer how to be a more organized writer how to do everything basically I've taken tutorials on how to use Photoshop how to make book covers how to format books paperbacks um, how to edit this video series that I'm doing. Uh, I'm not quite that adept at editing video yet. I just downloaded a bunch of software and did some tutorials and had a rough day today editing some videos and I threw out a whole video of me chatting and um, because I was done and I went back to see the beginning and it was messed up. I might still post it I don't know but I kind of redid it in the last video I posted so I might not post it I look kind of sick and tired in it because I hadn't taken a shower um, I just taken my kids to school and then spent an hour doing my newsletter and then had to go get my older kids out of school because they got out early today of course yay summer right I actually like having my kids around but um, driving them around interrupts my computer time so and that tends to be in the morning at the time they called me to pick them up so that wasn't very convenient but oh well <laughs> happens right um, so yeah I'm a full time writer right now I am a registered nurse but I've been pulling away from doing that more lately because I have severe health issues that some days I just can't even deal with being on my feet and working with patients it's um it's really hard on my body my like I, I just went I'm walking a lot but when I walk I get severe pains in my hip and my knees so yeah it's it happens even when I'm sitting down it just hurts all the time um for those who don't know me I have diabetes and uh, I just turned 40 I've had it for I've been diagnosed for a couple years um, my parents were both diabetic so I knew it was coming but didn't expect it this soon and it happened sooner than I thought because I have other issues that have contributed to it unfortunately so I'm yeah, working on my health to trying to get there but um writing has allowed me to stay at home with my kids and just basically be at their beck and call drive me here drive me there I need to go here I need to go there um but I've been lucky because I get to spend so much time with them um and I just adore them they're great kids and I'm lucky that they're great what else can I say really um anyway 
okay so if you guys have any questions that you like answered or want to know anything about me or my books um please let me know I need more questions I really like talking to you guys and hearing what you have to say so feel free to bug me I'm on all social media Facebook Instagram um, I have a newsletter I'm going to link everything down below if you want to check it all out I got a lot of links um, try to be on every platform <laughs> and um, if you like these videos and you're on patreon thank you so much uh, you have no idea how much it helps and and I'm so glad to know there's people out there that will help um, support things that they love like art music graphic design writing books and um from the bottom of my heart thank you i love you and um thanks for being part of my patreon with me and part of this youtube channel now so i will see you guys around bye